Our next guest is here, and as always, he has a lot to say, and it looks like they're already rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Paul. You were, you know, you did a, a spring break with the kids. You also boot and shoot. Yeah, Haven't boot seen and shoot was awesome, man. Um, we've talked about it um, on the Veteran Advocate page, and we've talked, to, and we talked a little bit about it here on the show as well. So we finally had the event, and um, with the dinner of the night before, like I want to say about seven, eight hundred people at the dinner, and the next day of the event, we had a couple thousand people at the event. And the results are in, and we did, we grossed over a million dollars. That's incredible. So it's amazing. That was our goal, and we hit it. And, um, you know, there's uh, tremendous resources that go into this, and super grateful for everybody who participated and made contributions. We talked about, on the Veteran Advocate page, I believe also here, um, people who made a donation of $100 or more, we get a free copy of Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink and Leif Babin, signed. Bam. And there it is. I got them. I just picked Ooh. them up the other day. Ooh, let me see that. Signed copy. This one's for you, buddy. Dang. So that's right. There's your signed copy. Oh wow, that is cool. Let Own me it. see this in my shot. Good to go. That is awesome. That's Jocko right there. He says, yep. "Own it, Jocko." Very, so very cool. Thank you to my brother Jocko for. I mean, like I bought a ton of these books and he signed them all. So thank you, man, for doing that. Um, and thank you to everybody who participated to make a contribution. Um, this money, as, you, as we've talked about in the past, is going uh, to fund scholarships for veterans with TBI and PTSD to get brain treatment at the Brain Treatment Foundation, uh, applying all kinds of different treatments and modalities for veterans in, in ways that they're not able to get it at the VA or other means. So, and this particular fun. year, was uh, they were honoring Mikey Mansoor. Mikey Mansoor, yep. So we had the Mansoor family out there, and I believe it was a tremendous event. This is a shirt from the event, by the way. Got the uh, a patch here that resembles the pin from the USS Michael Mansour, uh, DDG 1001, that'll be commissioned in 2018. An amazing uh, Zumwalt class destroyer, incredible, incredible ship, uh, honoring Michael Mansour's legacy. And uh, proud to, to just kind of be able to even be involved with that ship, by the way, in helping to instill some of what Mikey's legacy was with the crew. I've been able to spend some time with the crew of the USS Mansour. Uh, commanding officer has been fantastic and he's really really interested in making sure that he, he captures the life and legacy of Mikey and he instills that into the culture of, of the ship as it's being That's built. That's going to be amazing. Yeah, truly amazing. So appreciate that um, and yeah, so the event was awesome, raised a ton of money, we're going to help a ton of veterans. Um, when you walked in earlier today, you said you wanted to talk about bozos in the mortgage business bozos you know bozos <laughs> this is um this. yeah so you know this is something i see and i've seen it for a long time and if you're watching this whether it be on tv or on the facebook page or whatever something that frustrates me as a veteran and somebody who's in the mortgage business is when i see people i'll just call them bad actors in the business i mean people who have bad intentions who overcharge who take advantage of veterans they've got fancy marketing throw a an american flag on their business card or on their website throw a patriotic theme, and the veteran and the consumer has a hard time distinguishing between um, somebody who's just got fancy marketing and perhaps somebody who really knows what they're doing. I mean, if you're looking about buying a house and using a VA loan, and you're working with a company because they've got a great flag or they've got somebody, they've got some nondescript dude on the front page of their, of their website wearing fatigues, don't assume that that person knows how to do VA loans. I mean, how many VA loans did that person actually do last year? Four, ten. I mean, a couple here and there doesn't make you an expert, and that's the thing that I think consumers have a hard time distinguishing between. How do how do veterans get get hurt by that? You know, let's say you know. So I mean, I think a lot of people think, well, loan here, loan there, oh, it's all the same. You know, maybe you, right. you know, these guys are charging me a little more fees, but oh, I liked them. That's okay. I mean, how, how does it actually affect and, and and harm their financial picture? Well, there's a lot of nuances to the VA loan, and so if your loan officer or company doesn't do a thorough pre-approval before you go start writing offers, they may run into roadblocks and find things out while you're already under contract. So you think you're good and you write an offer and 10, 15 days into the process, they're coming back to you with problems. Well, oh, sorry, it looks like we can't do this loan for you anymore. And you end up even having to cancel or they end up saying, well, now we have to change this or change that. It's going to cost you more. You may not, you may lose your deposit. Uh, so not doing a thorough job up front because they don't know what things to look for or what kind of questions to ask. A, a, a real simple one, just being a veteran, especially working with somebody who's on active duty, I just, I mean, I know the lifestyle of a person who's serving. You're gone all the time. And does your veteran, does, 
your loan officer think to ask you, hey, are you going to be underway at the time of closing? Are you going to be out of town for any reason, training or deploying anytime soon? And you as a veteran or somebody who's on active duty may not, you're like, well, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to be, go I'm leaving in two weeks. I'm going to be gone for a month. Is that a big deal? Yeah, that's a big deal. We have to get a special power of attorney. And the VA has some specific guidelines on what has to be in that power of attorney. And so if that question isn't, for example, asked up front and properly prepared for, it's going to screw up your closing. And somebody who doesn't really understand the lifestyle of a veteran may not even think to ask that question. And you may not realize that it's a big deal as it pertains to the loan. So you've got to work with somebody who, who really understands all those nuances and moving parts to really quarterback the entire transaction and get you across the finish line in a timely manner, accurately, and looking out for your best interest. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's tough too because you're right. There are a lot of people who've gotten on the bandwagon. Um, if you call, you know, VA loans 20 years ago mm -hmm. were like totally, uh, there was dust on them. I mean, no one was using them. They didn't know, people didn't right. understand them. Realtors didn't uh, offer it. Lenders hardly didn't do it either. And then about 15 years ago, it became a little more popular. Um, government loans started making their way back. The FHA loan came into play and VA loan. It was like, oh, VA. Yeah. But still a lot of lenders were taking veterans away from VA into yeah. conventional loans, which yeah. is also something I think that you'll notice that a lot of these companies are doing. They're taking people away from them. Um, it's, it's an amazing loan. You should use it, but not all companies are offering the same deal. It isn't the same. Even though it's through the VA, it's not the same well, deal. So, so just a point of clarity, the, you don't get your VA loan from the VA. Okay, that's, the VA does, in very rare circumstances, do a loan. That's called a VA direct loan. And the, really the only direct loans the VA does, any, does anymore is for um, American Indians. Um, when 99.99% of VA loans, I mean, just this is it. You don't get your loan from the VA. You get your loan from a bank. Okay, and then the VA insures the loan. Um, when a problem occurs, a lot of times these banks like to blame the VA. Well, the VA said this or the VA said that. The reality is the VA is not involved in the loan process except for in a very small handful of situations. Joint loans, for example, two veterans bind together. The VA does get involved with that. But other than that, the entire process is handled by that bank. And, and for most banks, they do like one out of ten loans as a VA loan maybe. So does doing something a couple of times make you an expert? Absolutely not. That's a big problem, by the way, that we have with real estate agents here in Southern California. A lot of real estate, agents here, real estate agents here in Southern California are not pros. They're not professionals. Here's why. They only do a couple of transactions a year. Because our average transaction size is so large in Southern California, one deal, a realtor may make $15,000 on that one deal. So there's a lot of agents sticking around in the business, and they're amateurs. They close four deals a year. Because, hey, if they happen to close, that's one loan every three to four months, and they may bring in 60 grand. Doing something four times in a year does not make you a pro. Now, in other parts of the country where you make very little on each transaction because each transaction is much smaller, you have to do a lot of deals just to make a, a living. So those, I mean, when you do something a lot of times over and over again, you become good at it. So whether you're buying a house or getting a loan, you got to work with somebody who knows what they're doing. Ask them, how many, how many transactions do you do a year? And are you really involved in the transaction? Do you really know what you're doing? You may end up finding somebody who's got fancy marketing, and it turns out they did it a couple times last year, and you're going to trust this massive financial transaction to someone who's only done it a couple of times? That's, that's where you can find yourself getting hurt or into a situation that could have been avoided if you had worked with a real pro. Yeah, totally agree. And I, I tell you what, if, if I was getting a VA loan, Andrew, I would call you. Appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> I would definitely call you, man. First step for you, buddy, go down and uh, I was going to say, I got to go, si go sign right. up. Go serve the country. 90 <laughs> days of service, eligible for a VA loan. Another little tidbit for you. <laughs> All right, great stuff, man. All right, buddy. I uh, appreciate your time today. Good As to always, you, uh, fantastic having you here. And, of course, uh, this, uh, this is now we're in the, the Facebook side. Yep. Uh, of the segment. So we can just kind of sign off however we want. Do we want to do an awkward sign off? Or we could just say this. You missed out on your chance to get a book signed, but it's still a great book. Check it out on Amazon, Extreme Ownership, Jocko Willink. And if you did donate $100, like I did, to the Boot and Shoot, you get your signed, like I did. Own it. Nan, nan, and boo boo, I'm owning it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can cut. <laughs>